officially started nursing school this past August. Uh, it's now the end of September. I'm just getting around to filming this because I've been so busy moving out of my house and moving in and starting the semester. I am about to show you my nursing school supply haul and obviously I haven't made it through the full semester so I don't know how much of this I'm going to actually use but I tried not to overbuy and buy things that I wouldn't need. So this hopefully will be a very not super long haul and a lot of useful stuff and not a lot of just random things. I'm going to start with basic school supplies and then go into depth a little bit more. The most essential thing that I probably bought is this planner. <laughs> you need a planner. They put it on our mandatory like list of supplies for school because my professors know how important it is but I've always used a planner. It's just the only thing that keeps me organized, the only thing that I use that works. So like you can see, this one is just the most basic one that Amazon had. And I don't like the small ones, the pocket size ones. So you can see this is September, my September mapped out. I just have like pretty much everything. Um, and then it has daily uh, sections. I don't really use them, but I used to in my last one. And then I have like all of October filled out because it's just the only, and <laughs> November, it's the only way to keep track of all your due dates and exams and everything. And if you don't use a planner, you need to start because it's a lifesaver. Next is something that I don't know if a lot of people use, but I definitely do. I buy binders for all of my classes. I started doing this, well, obviously I did it in high school and then freshman year of college I kind of stopped but then I noticed that my biology my cellular molecular biology class it really helped me to have a binder and have all the sections put together and what would be on the exam all the homeworks everything in just one place I started doing that my first semester of my freshman year of college then kept, just kept doing it and then anatomy it really really helped me stay organized with one so like here I have my fundamentals um, binder and I just put they gave us weekly syllabi, syllabi, so I put that at the front, and so I'll have every single class and what I need. Then I have my lab section, or this is lectures actually, I labeled it wrong. So then I have all my notes, then I move on, and I have all my lab manual stuff, uh, my checklists, and then all of my syllabi are at the end, like my you know, the syllabi you get for every class. They also gave us this calendar, so I just put that in the front. And then I have another one for gerontology and another one for pharmacology, and it just, it helps. I don't know how people don't have binders. Another thing that is a lifesaver for me that a lot of people might not think about because you have a planner is a weekly to-do list calendar type thing. I got this at TJ Maxx, and I've already done every I've already filled out every week for the next 15 weeks <laughs> so that I can see okay here's my week here's what I have to do here are my appointments here's everything and you can jot down notes and stuff I find it less overload than the planner the planner is nice to have because you can see like okay here's what to expect in the month here's what I need to know but this weekly you can check things off as you go and it's just a lot easier to again stay organized which is key I have this <laughs> full of, I went on Amazon, I just bought a million highlighters and pens. And so these are just all different colored pens and highlighters and pencils. I went through the first three weeks with just my North Face backpack, with just my North Face backpack. And I found that lab was very difficult with just a backpack because I had like my stethoscope in that case and all my binders and stuff. And stuff like that so I went on Amazon and I bought this tote bag and I used it twice and already love it way more than my backpack um, it's just easier to fit things and I can keep all my lab stuff in here and then have my lecture and bring that to my lecture it's bag smart um, it's perfect you you really don't need anything more uh, but they have like cute customized ones I guess some people in my class do have that one and it's super cute, but if you're trying to save money, I think this one was like $30, I want to say. That's 
all the like regular school supplies I bought. You really don't need much more than that. If anything, besides like whiteout, you definitely need whiteout, like a stapler, hole punch, stuff like that, but I don't need to show you. So now we get into the fun part. I bought this case off of Amazon. It was like $25, so not too bad. And then obviously I have my stethoscope. So this is a Lippmann Classic 3M, I think. I will put in the description what it actually is, but it has double bell. Um, it's this cute periwinkle blue, and it's, it does the job. I got it on sale for, I think, $85 from a Lippmann distributor. It's really good. It's a good first stethoscope. It's not really expensive, and it's got the double bell, which you really won't need, but it's good to have, especially if you use it in, like, your first year of nursing, because you don't know what your specialty will be, so. I really like it, and it's working fine for me. <laughs> Next in here, I have... Sorry, this is hard to put away. I have my pen lights. And, okay, these are LED. These are both LED pen lights, which you can't use for pupil dilation. You can, but it hurts really bad and could potentially blind someone. So, you don't. Um, I didn't know that when I ordered them. I thought they were warm. I thought one was LED and I thought one was warm. They're both LED, so... Um, you definitely need a warm one, so I'm going to try to find that somewhere. And then I have bandaged scissors, just because you need them for clinicals. And then I also bought a blood pressure cuff to practice, which has actually come in really handy. I needed it in my labs. So you definitely need one to practice on people, because you can't just do it in lab and then feel confident. It's pretty easy, but it is your first skill, so you definitely need to know how to do it on a lot of people. We were required to buy... A whiteboard. Uh, I got this off of Amazon like five bucks. For our program we are required to buy a whiteboard because with the NCLEX you have to use a whiteboard. You're not given like scrap paper or anything so they just want to simulate that so they make us buy a whiteboard. Another thing we actually have to buy for our program too is an iPad. So I bought a refurbished iPad off of Amazon. Most people get the iPad mini for our program. I think it's cheaper and that's what they like recommend. But I knew I would want a regular sized iPad. To go with my iPad, I actually bought this uh, stylus, this like fake Apple pen off of Amazon. It was $25 and it works really well. Like I've had, I don't see a difference between like an Apple pen and this. I'm sure there are, but this one does the job just fine. I know a lot of people in my program use the app Notability. I don't, but everyone really likes it. So I'm sure like that comes in really handy with that. The next thing I'll show you is my lab goggles. We need lab goggles for clinicals and lab because of COVID, you're required to wear them. So these are them. I think they're super cute. They come in a pack of two and they're way better than like your normal chunky like lab goggles. Who wants to wear those all the time? They do get foggy with your mask, but I think that'll change when I'm wearing my N95 in the hospital. Um, so it comes in this cute pink color with this bag and it also comes in clear. So super cute, way better than normal lab goggles, way more comfortable. Um, and just overall better. The brand that I got, there's a bunch of them, is C-Band, S-E-E Band. Uh, next for clinicals, I bought these Tribe RN cards that you've probably seen if you watch like a YouTube nursing haul. It's these sets of, well, it all came together in one. I just separated them um, to go on my badge reels that I also bought from Amazon. Um, ignore my nail polish. Those are them. I think they're super cute, super simple. They're, these Tribe RN cards are cheat sheet cards. So they look like that, that's upside down, but when you pull them up and they have all of the, this information, just so if you're in the clinical setting and you don't know something, you have the chance to look down and it might be there. Obviously, I'm not going to take all of these in every clinical with me. Right now we're doing gerontology. We're in a cooperative unit at a hospital. So I'm not going to need cardiac drips. I'm not going to need, I will need antidotes. I will need medications. 
Um, I will need basic assessment. Stuff like that. Um, normal lab values, lines and tubes. I won't need newborn blood pressure. I won't need, like, I won't need pediatric maternity, stuff like that, psych. I'll just need the basics. So, these are really helpful. I'm excited to see if they come in handy or not, but I think they will. A lot of people buy them. Um, so yeah, super handy dandy. The next thing I bought is super cute and I definitely want to buy more, but I just haven't yet because I haven't needed them and I only get one clinical a week starting in November, so I don't know how many I'll need. Um, but it's just this headband with the buttons for your mask. I think it's super cute. I bought it off of Etsy. Um, let me look up this shop I got it from because I will give them a shout out. So that is from Sewing Sherry on Etsy. Okay, next I just bought these um, pocket notebooks for clinicals to keep in my pocket, write stuff down. I got them off of Amazon. I don't imagine that they were that expensive, but they'll come in handy when I'm doing physical assessment or just taking notes in general. In a clinical setting, you don't want to carry around a huge notebook. These fit right in your scrub pockets. It's perfect to just pull them out and jot down notes. I bought undershirts um, for my scrubs, just plain white. There's probably guidelines for your programs of what colors you can wear while you're in your uniform. It's the brand, um, oh no, Adar, A-D-A-R is the brand. Universal, I bought a size small and they fit really well. But compression socks. So I just bought tan ones. So at clinicals, I am definitely gonna be standing for eight to 12 hours. So I decided it's in my best interest to buy these. Um, I don't think it's a necessity, but definitely worth something if you know your feet are gonna ache, you're gonna have fluid retention if you are standing for long periods of time. Getting to the end of like the fun stuff, my clinical uniform. So I bought, we have to have a solid color, water resistant shoe, and they said no clogs. I thought about buying cloves, but they're so expensive. I was like, I'll just wait and get a different pair for now because I do only have seven or eight clinicals. Uh, so buying cloves really wasn't worth it for me. So I just bought these. New Balance, all white, all leather shoes. Um, the only thing that's not leather is right there, the mesh inside. Hoping they'll be okay. I bought white, which in hindsight was risky. I should have bought black probably. I don't know if they had these in black. I hope you guys enjoyed that haul. I will probably keep you updated on whether or not the stuff was useful. I can't imagine that any of it would be really not useful. Uh, I bought, I tried to buy practical stuff and limit it to only what I needed. Wish me luck for this semester and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got a lot out of it and maybe it gave you some tips and tricks for your program. And if you're applying to nursing school, good luck. If not, thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for supporting. Please like this video, subscribe for more nursing content as I go through my next two years, my next four semesters. If you care to hear any more about my story, I will be uploading videos on that, um, but thanks for watching.